Yo, focus, focus. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? So, uh, we're back at another video. Um, I'm very excited about this one because the, the dude I'm cutting in my video, he's been a client for a good. I first started cutting hair in a barbershop. Uh, he's followed me around through every barbershop that I've been through, and I appreciate it a lot. You always love to see those loyal clients, and I couldn't have asked for any loyal clients better. So thank you for all the loyal clients out there that are loyal to your barber. <laughs> so in this video, he had an afro. He had it got cut in like three months. Man, I'm doing a lot of transformation videos lately because, yeah, his hair was messed up on top, and um, I saved him. I saved him a lot. So um, if you guys uh, are new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, man... Just stay tuned, y'all. This is the year that I break through in my YouTube thing, y'all. So stay tuned, y'all. What's up, YouTube? It's Arlen back at it with another video uh so as you guys can see my client has a lot of hair i picked his hair out just so you can when you pick a hair out you basically it just, it just gets all the hair um that are, that's curly it just picks it all out so it's all even so then when you do cut the hair you don't have to worry about it not being even so you always want to pick out a hair or comb the hair before you start cutting long hair especially with afros um, so I'm using my shears to um, to cut down the bulk on the head. So they're kind of angled. They're kind of like um, the shears are kind of shaped and kind of like as you can see, it is kind of shaped right there. So um, those help out with afros on top because it shapes it for you. You don't got to like it, it gives you more of an assist. OK, so I'm cutting a lot off the top. Um, his hair curls a lot when it's wet. So I, I do want to keep a little bit more length because when his hair gets wet, it's gonna curl down so much so and it's not gonna look as long so um, keep that in mind you guys especially when you cut people with curly hair when it's wet it gets um, it shrinks down so for this first step we have our number one and a half guard on our walls we're gonna take it against the grain and we're making um, we're not really making a line I guess we're kind of uh, we're just taking off the bulk in the back because I want to see what I am doing, especially when I'm cutting hair. That's the most important thing, especially when you're cutting long hair. You want to see exactly what you're cutting. You don't want to cut blind because that doesn't make any sense. So you take off the bulk in the back or wherever you're cutting the hair. So that way you can see what guy lines, how big your guy lines are, etc. So I have my babyless liners here and I'm making uh, my first ball line. So we're doing a high taper on the on the sides and back. Um, I kind of don't want to go too high in the back, so I am doing my ball line a little bit lower than usual. So uh, make sure that the ball line is straight. I'm do I'm going about like a half an inch below the ear because his hair is long on top, and I don't want to go too high. And you also want to base your line or your ball line or your guidelines on the head shape. His occipital bone is kind of lower than than usual, so we're keeping the fade or taper low. So to set our first guy line in, we're using our wall magic clips, our cordless ones. I love these clippers a lot. If you guys don't have them, this, the link is in the bio. So if you guys want to order them, feel free. <laughs> so we're doing a guy line about half an inch. Make sure that's straight. So then we're going to take out that bottom line with a closed lever. We're going to close it up, then do halfway, and then open. We I like to play with my levers a lot because that way... It gives you a type of blend that you want. Everybody has their own style. I've told you guys this in previous videos. You guys have your own style. I have mine. Just make sure you guys use the corners, especially in tapers, so that way you have more precision of what hair you cut. Um, so, and also, don't make sure you don't go past that line that I'm un I'm currently under because you don't want to keep raising the taper higher and higher. So right here we have our one guard. Uh, and we're just gonna try to make another guy line. Um, 
I don't think it's going to make another guideline because we did do a one and a half to take off that bulk in the back. So um, I'm just flicking out and basically what it's doing is lightening up even more. Uh, so that way um, it gives me so much more time to um, see what I'm cutting like because I'm eventually going with a zero guard. Uh, so a lot of people ask me where do you guys get this clipper comb. Um, I got this about like four or five years ago so I really don't remember. But if I do find out where to get it, I will definitely put it in the description below. Um, it's one of my favorite clipper combs, man, because it's carbon fiber, light, honestly, and it don't break. So um, the way I do my clipper comb is whatever hair I see, I just take it out. Like right there, just taking it out. I'm going up at an angle like I'm cutting the hair. Um, it does. It did take a while for me to do my clipper over comb because um, it's just like you're you don't have a guard okay so you're basically just freehanding everything with a comb so it does make it a little bit more harder some people don't think that they can get it down but look if you're more if you are consistent and the repetition you keep going more and more you get it down you guys So for this next part, we have our zero guard and we're gonna close that thing all the way up just to take out that bottom line. So I'm flicking, flicking, flicking right here. I'm not trying to make another hard line. So I'm flicking and then I, I close it up, like I said, and then we go halfway to lighten up even more. And then we go open to lighten up even more. You don't wanna go past that dark spot as you guys can see what we made with our clipper over comb. So just make sure that you guys use the corners um, just to take out any dark spots necessary. Um, so, and then you just keep, blending up you don't want to go too high though you got you want to make a good and nice contrast um corners a lot again flick edge angle and touch like we used to say back in barber school and yeah So for the side taper now, uh, we're gonna take off the bulk. So I am using a number three guard. I never use a number three guard, you guys, but I wanna kinda keep the shape of the hair on top. So I just, um, I'm going in with it. And then as soon as I get to the part up top, I, I flick up. I just go straight up out of motion. You guys see, I'm not really digging in. I'm just kinda using that three guard to shape up the hair. So that way it'll be much, much easier to taper and also keep the shape of the hair. So I know I said we're doing a high taper. Um, that was my fault. I really thought we we're gonna. Do that. I, I got completely lost, you guys. So we are doing a low taper, and I'm making my guy line about half an inch to an inch. Um, I'm using the corners a lot because, especially in tapers, as in on the side, you want to use your corners. So as you guys just seen, I close it up, um, and then I'm playing with my lever closed, and then halfway and then open. I don't want to go past that initial guideline that we just made. So we're kind of going underneath it and just trying to get out all the dark spots as possible. On the next step, we have our number one guard. Again, using the corners to make the guideline or to cut the hair because you want to have more precise, especially when you're doing a taper. Um, so we're doing another guideline. Uh, it's not really making too much hard of a line. I'm not too sure why not. Um, maybe it's because the angle I'm going at and I'm, I'm not really trying to make a hard line. So make sure you use the corners again and uh, just flick out a lot, you guys. Uh, you don't want to make any hard lines, like I said before, because they suck. 
<laughs> to get out, man. Trust me, I've I've made a, a, a mistakes in the past, and it, it's real hard. So we have our zero guard, and we're gonna use the corners again just to take out the um that uh, open lever that we did before, and uh, close halfway open, play with that lever a lot. So we have our number one and a half guard here and we're just going to be using it just to take out any dark spots um especially the one on the ear and we're just lightening things up um i am flicking up again flicking up especially when i'm doing this because um i don't want to make any hard lines i know i said that too many times in the video but it's true i don't i do not want to so i lighten it up as you guys can see it is lining up some more um so uh yeah <laughs> Just uh, please take my advice. Uh, please don't make any hard lines. After just finishing up with that number two guard to flick out, we have our number one, and now we're just gonna take out that that line that you guys seen that I'm about to take out right now. <laughs> uh, I think I had they had it halfway. I think I had it halfway. So um, yeah, I am using the corners. Uh, I did halfway, then I'm gonna be doing open just to line it up, you guys. Um, it's not really gonna make big of a difference because we just did a one and a half, and you see that little dark spot right there. I think if I know myself, I'm gonna take it out with a one and a half. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna take it out with a one and a half just to lighten it up because we did do a two, um, obviously, yeah. You know, we did a two, so now that one and a half is not gonna make any, you know, any line. <laughs> so now this now this little lineup part right here, so we're using our um, Babyless liners. You know, these are my hitters right here, you guys. These are my hitters. Uh, we're doing that low taper, so we want to kind of make the arch fit that taper if you know what i'm saying because some arches don't fit the taper you want to have the arch fit the taper so i'm not trying to push them back too too hard or anything so let's make sure that nice that arch is nice and archy <laughs> so for the front line up here we are using the same liners we just did for the the hook or the arch either one we're starting from the middle uh make sure you don't press too hard on the client's head because my client right here he does have a sensitive forehead some clients have you know sensitive foreheads which means you can't really put as much pressure on their forehead or they just you can't you got to use different liners so uh make sure you guys keep that in mind everybody's skin is not the same so adjust accordingly to your clients <laughs> So I started from the middle and I'm making my way from the left and then to the right. Um, I, I like starting from the middle because I, it doesn't make me raise any sides of my hairlines. So start from the middle and we just meet up in the middle. So this video is about wrapped up. Um, I wanna thank you guys for watching my YouTube uh, videos. Uh, my YouTube has been a little popping more, you know, uh, more than usual because I actually have been consistent in posting and I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it going, you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like button. Also put the, also put that post notifications on and also subscribe. Um, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, if you guys leave a comment below of how you like the cut and the experience you have on my YouTube channel. Uh, please uh, follow me on my Instagram. It's top left, you guys. So take it easy, y'all. I'm out. Mm -hmm.